Okay. So here we are again. So hello, everybody. My name is Rosana Penilia Barucha. And today I would like to welcome you and join us to our new episode of the stories of the absolutely fabulous women of today. So again, we're sharing stories and sharing stories creates emotional connection so that we can get a deeper understanding of other people's experiences despite our differences. So we hope with our purpose to bring inspiration, friendship, um, courage, I would like to say courage today, love, and most of all, to give you hope. So today, joining me is a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous person and who's celebrating her birthday tomorrow. So we're recording this earlier, but tomorrow is her birthday, the April Fool's Day. So I'm not pulling around. It is true that it is her birthday. And here she is. I would like to introduce to you Margaret High and let us meet her eye to eye, mind to mind, and heart to heart. Hi, Margaret. Welcome to our show. Hi, Rosanna. Thank How you so you? much. How are I'm you? wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, because of our, um, our viewers, I would like you to please introduce yourself. Well, let's see. I'm an author. I like to write poetry, so I'm a poet. I've won some awards for my poetry. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom, a grandma, a great grandma. Um, let's see. I also have my own little business on the side. It's called Just In Case. Oh, it's wow. a do-it-yourself will and power of attorney kit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I actually originally came from Newfoundland, Bell Island, Newfoundland, and it's a small island. Um, the only way on and off this island is by ferry. So we're very secluded. <laughs> awesome. So actually, you're the very first one I have interviewed who is from Canada. Ah. Yeah. And so um, for those of you who's watching us, and uh, I know that uh, this show can be seen any in any parts of the world. So um, Newfoundland is one of the provinces in the Atlantic region of Canada. I know very much about, <laughs> about the Atlantic region because I am actually working with some people in New Brunswick and in Nova Scotia, one of the provinces in, Atlant in the Atlantic. What a beautiful place. Mm, it is. I have some oh, fond memories of Newfoundland. So what do you remember about during your childhood days? Oh my goodness. Do you remember about Newfoundland? Well, back, of course, I was born in 48, so I'm, I don't mind sharing my age. Uh, back in the 40s, 50s, you know, growing up on a secluded island, um, we, um, we were blessed. We didn't have to worry about closing our doors. Our doors were always open to whoever. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were safe, so we felt very safe. And I remember most, and I miss most, is the ocean the smell of the ocean and the sound of the ocean. I still think of that. When I feel stressed or anything, I remember the sound and the smell of the ocean. Wow. What about your um, most memorable, you know, um, most memorable, memorable memory, unforgettable memory during your childhood? During my childhood, oh my goodness. Memorable memories during my childhood. I think, when I think about it, I think it's because of our culture and uh, how secluded we were. Everybody knew everybody, basically. But I think my memory was how musical people were. So when we go to visit some family members or whatever, they were always playing music and singing and, and dancing and things like that. So these are memories that uh, stay with me and I think really helps us become who we are because it's part of us. So the music, the culture, the gatherings, I think those were memories that I, I still hang on to. Wow. And, you know, um, we have some fun memories of our childhood, right? And usually it has something to do with, you know, happy 
uh, or sometimes bonding with our parents, just walking around. And for you, you remember music. Well, during those times, people gather around to sing. Mm -hmm. And they have the fire, you know, around the fire pit. And even that, you know, just sit, sit around and play music, take their guitar, right? That's right. And music storytelling. Is very much a part of our life. How about it, it, dancing? It, it, How about dancing? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now, we have a tradition down east that's yeah. called mummering. Mummery? Mummering, M U M. And yeah, mummering, M U M M E R I N G, mummering. <laughs> so once a year, people would go door to door. They dress up and go door to door. And uh, there's a lot of videos out there now about it. So, you know, it, it's quite well known now. But they would uh, sing songs and people would have to guess who they were because they would have their faces covered. Oh, yeah, that? it's amazing. So, you know, if you Google Newfoundland and mummering, they will uh, show you. And, and, and uh, it, so that that alone is a great memory. So people would sing and, and dance in, in kitchens, you know, and they'd have the big pot of soup on. And and uh, it was amazing. And it's it still goes on somewhat today. The oh, Newfoundland that's mummers. awesome. That's awesome. And that's one thing that we should not forget, you know, how um how we did it in the past it should be present today because the young generation today will not be able to see how you know we spend time and how we gather together um if we if right now we're not telling this story right and that's how it was way back then in the day too because of course tvs weren't around back then and if, if you're lucky to have one you know there was the old black and white you know we actually had to get up and turn a station on but uh people are you know um amuse themselves by telling stories and singing songs and dancing and uh, that was their entertainment so that oh, went that's on amazing for me this is the first time i've i've heard of a mummery <laughs> so now now i now i know and thank you so much so if i have to ask you another question that has something to do with because i i uh, you mentioned that you know people dress up before and things like that so during those times and now so um what is your preference in terms of fashion because i can see you're so fabulous Look at your <laughs> look at your hairstyle. Oh, you know what? I, I want to stay like that. <laughs> there you I go. I love your hairstyle. I love your eyeglasses. You, Thank you. Look you. Always amazing. So tell me or tell us. What okay. do you prefer? Do you prefer you know pants, t-shirt, casual, formal, high heels, sneakers? What, what do you prefer? Well, I know back in my childhood, we, we didn't have very much. So we had basically hand-me-downs and homemade things uh, as far as clothing goes or fashion. But I love to dress up. I enjoy dressing up when I go out. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, having said that, I also like the casual. Uh, we have a trailer, so we camp in the summer for six months. And, of course, then I do my casual, um, you know, in shorts or blue jeans and tops and just relaxing things, you know, my joggers and things like that so I, i'm a little bit on the both both sides but when i do go out in public or when i'm you know going out to meetings and whatnot i'd like to dress up oh, i love that you know it just <laughs> shows that even now I, you know while you're telling me that i i can actually like picture you how you were before you know sometimes this is what i found um especially now you know it's coming out a lot of times you know they put a picture of a, an older person and then the younger picture of that person, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? This is what's going on in my head. I, it's as if I can see you during that time, you know, how active you are. Yeah, you know, you're, you're the life of the party. <laughs> I can tell that, you know, by the way you are. And I, you know, it's exciting because since I've done this storytelling, I've, you know, I've become more, I've become richer in terms of knowing other people's stories and how they were before and now, right? We can't tell about the future. We can only think of it, but I mean, not exactly that we know what's gonna happen, but we all aim to be here <laughs> tomorrow. Yep, we're here. 
<laughs> right? So um, what, when you were asked in your younger years, what <laughs> would you like to become? What was that? You know, back then, it's so funny because back then, um, I, I always thought I wanted to be an airline steward because being on this island, you know, as I said before, you're secluded, but the only way you see the outside world is if you had a TV. So we didn't have much back then. Right. But I always visioned traveling the world or seeing different parts of the world, wondering, gee, I wonder what they're like there. I wonder what it's like here. So I thought, hmm, if I travel down the airplane, I get to see all this. So if I was a stewardess, I get to travel a lot. So that was one of the things that I remembered as a child thinking what I'd like to be. But right now, of course, it's changed. But, uh, you know, uh, a famous writer now. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I when I was um, when I was in my um, like teens, right? I wanted to become an um, a flight attendant. I don't know. I just love to be because you see, I'm a person that loves you know women in uniform, and one of which is a nurse. I you know my my dream was to become a nurse, and so this is how I ended up you know working in healthcare. Uh, but I'm, but not a nurse. I, I was in charge of the business side. So anyhow, uh, when I reached around 19 years old, I said, you know what? I would like to become a flight attendant <laughs> because I've seen all these flight attendants going in and out of the airport, and they look so gorgeous. Yeah, I, I would like to do that. I would like to have that. But in, in my sorry, in my day, that's what they were called airline stewardess. Now they're called flight attendants. Flight so. attendants, that's correct. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm telling you the story. Yeah. So and, and anyhow, here's what the, what it is. I did apply. <laughs> I applied and um, I did not pass because of my height. There's oh, a certain gosh. height that you must meet, right? And mm -hmm. because I'm only four uh, eleven, <laughs> not even five five feet tall, so I did not get it. Uh, Anyhow, I tried again for ground stewardess. That means sure you should be at the airport, right? I because I, <laughs> I'm just crazy about the uniform. <laughs> I want to mm -hmm. be wearing the uniform. Yes. So I said ground stewardess. I did not get it again. I did not get it because of the height. There's still a height requirement. <laughs> okay so one of my friends said you know what if they have an opening for underground <laughs> underground, oh, underground stewardess, you better apply you will fit in there <laughs> That's so, anyhow, so that, that's that's how it was because i was thinking okay i will get this job i will get this job because i at that time i was speaking about four languages Oh, and wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm multilingual. So anyhow, anyhow, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we are where we're meant to be. Yes. I know that you are actually, um, you know, um, an uh, you, you said you're an author, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us about what book you have written. Can you say something about that? Sure, sure. I've written several books. That's, um, let's see. Uh, some of them are on now uh, Amazon and different uh, bookstores online right now. Um, awesome. Yeah, I uh, wrote a book about my Newfoundland heritage. So it's a book of poetry all about Newfoundland. Actually, one minute. I can't if you have it there, can you show us? <laughs> <laughs> There's the one book. Oh, it's that, a man that in fact, yeah, that, that in fact is uh, the ocean. Yes, see? And uh, yeah, it's got a little bit. Of, you can see it there. there Very go. nice, Margaret. Bravo. <laughs> Thank oh you. God. So this is, uh, yeah, it's all self-published. Um, mm -hmm. I also, I drove for Uber, believe it or not, for three years. Okay. I became an Uber driver just because my son said he knew I was energetic and mom, you should be doing something. You know, you're staying around the house, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, okay, that sounds great. Hey, I'll take a challenge. And it was an amazing, an amazing journey. I loved it. I met people from all over the world. 
and their stories, like you're talking about now as sharing stories. Oh my goodness, I their stories were amazing. So what did I do? I wrote a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I called it. Which one is that? What's the title? Uh, Great Granny Margaret Super Diary. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, these are stories from people I picked up, you know, they're driving for Uber. And um, they're, as I said, they were amazing people, young people. They just filled my heart up. And uh, so I had to tell some of their stories. So that's in my other book. So you are was. an amazing person because, you know, not only how to do things positively, but you double it up with something that, you know, you can leave a legacy of what you've done. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I am hats off. Oh my Lord. You are so good. Thank and, you. you know, and this is what I say, uh, you know, from most of the conversation that I have with, uh, with some friends, right. I said, um, it's never too late to learn anything. You can oh. always start from where you are. Right. And in fact, I didn't start, sorry, I didn't start writing till I was in my 40s. Look at that. Yeah, you can start at any time. You know, um, just like me, I um I always invest in in myself. So I I'm doing something or the other every time. I'm I'm a person that I, 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 I'm hungry for knowledge. I I never stop. I never stop <laughs> learning, whether it's Perfect. language, whether it's whatever, you know, I just keep myself busy and I would like to be always productive, right? I enjoy what I'm doing, right? Exactly. So for you, for you now, because you've been so busy before <laughs> and right now, can you share with us how does your day go right from the morning? Is there a, a special something that you do? in the morning oh first thing in the morning i gotta make my coffee <laughs> all right okay i love my coffee awesome so i i'm an earlier riser my husband sleeps in a bit later so what i do is get up make my coffee and just set and just take everything all in and be grateful for being here and for the day so when i do that and then i Take some time to relax and then breakfast of course and housework and things like that then i have to get on my laptop i have to get on my computer and start writing or i'm working on a novel now um a historical fiction novel and it's taken me a long time because uh circumstances have brought me here now so i can start working on it again now with COVID, it gives me more time to do that right so i start working on my novel and and just learning things. And I just finished doing my website, which is great. I'm so excited about that. So bravo once again. Oh, like yourself, always learning, trying to do things, to figure things out, to make things happen. <laughs> and that's important, you know, especially during this pandemic, right? And uh, a lot of us do not really enjoy being at home, but it's also about, you know, um, perspective. And I think one of the best things that uh, best things that happened this time around is that we were able to sit down, reflect, yes, right. And secondly, is that now um, you're able to do some work uh, with your children, maybe or mm -hmm. family, right? Oh, yeah. um, I think that's important. You know, bonding. You, you know, we we always run around, always busy, and um, Sometimes, how much time do you really spend with your loved one? So true, so how true. How much and time do you really communicate with your loved one? What kind? It, quality versus quantity, right? That's it's so important. True. So I, I think during this time, it has also taught us a lot of things. And for me, I think so. Um, and as I've, what I've seen is that <laughs> a lot of people learn new skills. <laughs> yes. New skills and patience. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is when we take it to the positive side, right? Um, unfortunately, we also have some homes that um, 
have some negativity in the house. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully, you know, and they are watching the, our show and that they can uh, pick something from us and be inspired that um, what we're here for is sharing our story that there's always hope, there's always uh, new things to try. Um, we can always be thankful for, for something, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. How about you? What are you grateful for? Oh my gosh, I am so grateful for my family. Uh, I'm so grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful for my help. Um, I'm grateful that my son-in-law, he's uh, struggling with cancer right now as well. So I'm grateful that he's doing okay and is with us. I'm grateful for my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. I just can't wait to get them out and give them all big hugs, but I'm grateful for that. So yeah, family, friends, um, yes, that, that's, and help. That's true. Yeah, first and foremost, I, I, I think so um, for me as well. I'm very thankful that um, my family is here with me. Um, I've been working from home for 25 years. Oh, I run my own business from my home. And um, I miss my daughter for five years because she went to university. Oh, dear. And then my son also went to university, right? Um, so my son's on his first year in university and my daughter was coming home already at the same time. So last March, both of them came home and they are here with me. And I'm happy uh, because you know what, once again, I can talk to them and uh, both of them are working from home and uh, my daughter finished her program from Brock University um, last June. And my son is now on his second year. So this is like a year and a half for him studying from home. So wow. he's working as well. So, you know, um, there's a lot of things that I'm, I'm thankful Great. for, especially, you know, them coming home um, yes. with my two kids. I only have two kids. There's only four of us in Canada, by the way. So, oh, you know how you can probably feel how um, I'm very happy um, about, you know, them coming home. <laughs> of course. Yes, yes. That's great. So because of all of these things that happen, people, of course, you know, had been told to stay home and uh, people are moving from here to there, just like my children, they moved from the university uh, mm -hmm. campus to, to, the, to our home. So how about you? Um, any plans of, you know, future travel once it is safe for everyone? And where is that place? Oh, thank you. Um, well, you know, I used to travel years ago, my husband and I with friends. And uh, of course, you know, we move and, and, and separate and, and people are in and out of our lives. So we haven't done that for a while. But my son and his wife and my little grandson have started traveling together. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it started with their wedding. <laughs> so when they got married, oh, what a beautiful, good memory. When they got married, um, they went on a honeymoon. And they invited us, the parents, to go okay. along with them. That's nice. <laughs> you went on honeymoon too. <laughs> and but we're traveling ever since. We're a very close family. We we just love our children and, and vice versa. And so and my daughter-in-law and my son-in-law, I'm so blessed. I love them both and, and they're very close. So yeah. So we got to travel. And since then we travel like all the time. Uh, we rent a cottage once a year that we all go there, both families you know, mixed together and we just have a wonderful time just being together. So yeah. Yeah. I'll travel anywhere, anytime with my kids. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm also looking forward to traveling again. I, you know, from last year, I did not travel outside the country. Uh, usually I would uh, every year, but um, this time, you know, I'm within the, within Canada, I traveled, but um, this year I've not traveled yet, except Lakeshore Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> You must miss I need that. To see, I need to see nature. I need to see water. You know, yes. especially when I'm, you know, when I'm meditating or unwinding, I, I do that. Um, you know, to be in, to be with nature. And yeah. So, so what's your parting words for our audience? Because we're coming to the end of the show. Okay. I I would say, hmm. You know, it is what it is. Is what I would say. 
things you cannot change, you have to learn to accept and just move forward. And and, and, and and learn, learn as much as you can, because, you know, it's not for nothing. When you learn things, you better yourself. You keep yourself occupied and busy. So, yeah, I'd say learning and be kind. And be kind. So it has something to do with serenity, right? Very much so. Accept the things, have the courage and accept the things that you cannot change. Be kind to yourself and others. Yes, that's right. And it's the same for me. So um, ladies and gentlemen, and to all of our followers, I hope that you have enjoyed our mini conversation today. And um, there's a lot of things here that we've discussed and get to know a little bit about Newfoundland mm -hmm. and um, you know the books of uh, Margaret. So um, in, case, um, in case that you would like to speak to Margaret, Margaret, where can yes. they find you? Do you have a website? Well, I, uh, yeah, margarethigh.ca is my website, but I'm also on Facebook. So right. you can find me on Facebook as well. And, uh, yeah. That's awesome. So there you go. So you, know, you can find her on Facebook. And uh, this episode will be published on YouTube and will be shared on our Facebook page as well as our new Instagram. We hope that you like this show. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and of course, share this if this has something, uh, this, this episode talks to you about um, relationship, about love, or it has inspired you. Please do so, share this with friends. And I would like to invite you, if you would like to share your story, just contact me. You can comment below and I will reach out to you. This is a wonderful day. I thank you, Margaret, for joining me today. Thank you and, very much. And again, uh, our show is always published every Wednesday. So thank you for watching and may you have a blessed day and a beautiful day. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>